The suit for the Silver Lining DLC for Spider-Man PS4 have finally been revealed. Yes, this is not your Raptor talking to you. My name is Joyce and I will tell you all about the new info, how these suits look like, including the teaser trailer and more. So as always, if you enjoy that, then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. Here you see the three suits for the final chapter of The City That Never Sleeps, Silver Lining, and I gotta be honest, I did not expect these three at all. Okay, maybe I did expect the first suit because this one is of course from the upcoming movie Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. In the recent PlayStation blog post, it tells us that Insomniac is very excited to be partnering with Sony Pictures on the upcoming movie. The suit definitely got a comic vibe to it, although it does not have the same style as for example the Spider-Clan suit from the previous DLC chapter Turf Wars. It's got its own unique vibe and I'm really curious about how this suit will play out when Silver Lining releases on December 21st. There's another shot of the suit where Spider-Man is checking out the city's view and looking curiously into the camera. Speaking of cameras, the blog post also notes that they can't wait to see what we will do with the suit in the photo mode. So this probably means that we will get some new filters and stickers as well to go all out and to let this suit shine. I'm definitely going to try that out for sure. The second suit is called the Cyborg Spider-Man suit, and if I have to choose between these three, then this will probably be my favorite one. It looks really epic with the cyborg arm, the eye patch, and a sort of damaged suit. Also getting ninja vibes with the headband and the spidey kick you see in this screenshot right here, where Spider-Man takes on a sable guy, it seems. Cyborg Spider-Man is familiar for the comic book readers as it was in the Superior Spider-Man series and in The Amazing Spider-Man. I'm really looking forward to kick ass with this amazing looking suit. The third and final DLC suit is called the Aaron Eichmann armor suit, and I hope I pronounced this right, which looks robotic and epic as well, as seen in this screenshot. It's the sun shining on the armor, and are those rocket boots? Kind of looks like it. Anyway, all the suits look pretty cool and can't wait to see them in action when the final chapter of The City That Never Sleeps hits. Cause with the blog post and the new suits also came a teaser trailer, which not only shows our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, but also Silver Sable, the queen of making entrances. Once again, Spider-Man and Silver Sable are almost at each other's throats, but in this chapter they have to be allies to keep Marvel's New York City safe. Silver Sable stormed back to reclaim her stolen Sable International tech. We also see Hammerhead in a sort of cyborg suit, which probably hints at the choice for the second DLC suit, to be honest, and an epic fight between him and Spider-Man. Yuri Watanabe has not been shown in the trailer, because looking at the blog post it says she's on administrative leave following her exploits against Hammerhead. This of course refers to the previous chapter, Turf Wars. Anyway, we can't wait for the final chapter to hit the PlayStation Store, it will arrive on December 21st, right in time for the holidays. It will of course be $10 separately, or part of the $25 season pass that also includes the heist and turf wars. When the DLC hits, we will of course be all over it. Subscribe to stay up to date on Spider-Man PS4 if you haven't already, and when we know more about the DLC or secret locations that we will likely visit, we'll let you know here. Like this video to support the channel, and before we let you go, your raptor will highlight some photo mode pictures you send us with the spider raptor hashtag. Well, that's enough for me. Your raptor, take it away. And of course, as always, we end the Spider-Man video with the cool pictures you send me. You can always send them via Twitter at your raptor, use the spider raptor hashtag, or also you can send them via Instagram, your raptor. Follow me there and share your shots just like Multi Miles did with this really cool shot of Spider-Man hanging inside an empty train. And I hear you ask how well Multi Miles was just hanging in the tunnel and glitched inside the train when it passed by, resulting in this really cool shot. So thanks for sharing. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Well, Kashi Love was able to make that happen in Spider-Man PS4 while doing an interesting acrobatic move with the Stark suit on. Not sure how the snow happened though, but with Christmas approaching, I thought it was nice to show it here. From ice to fire in this shot from Pixel Pix with Spider-Man doing a cool pose. Like, I would go out of this building if I was him, but it does result in a really nice shot for sure. Now move it. When light and a filter creates a completely new color for an already cool suit, then you get this shot from Christian in the Iron Spider armor, looking for the next crime to fight. It's a really cool one. Humble is making me dizzy with this shot of Spider-Man hanging upside down while we get a unique look at the city. Okay, let's move on because I don't think I can take this one any longer. Still a really cool one. Okay, next. We got a Spider-Clan love from Ben with the cool use of the frame and the stickers. 
My spider sense is tickling like mad. There must be danger near. Yes, I think I saw some demons in this shot from Raimi Man, who thought it was cool to go on a photo with one of these enemies that does not seem to like it. Or is it just that the mask always has this expression? Either way, nice timing, really great work. More Iron Spider armor shots, yes please, thanks to Elya, who is sitting on a high place with the iron arms out. Really cool use of the aperture as well, I'm a fan. So again, subscribe of course for way more Spider-Man PS4 content if you haven't already. Like this video to support the channel, check out my most recent Spider-Man video on some secrets from Turf Wars that you might have missed. And I will of course speak to you next time, goodbye.